guys, this is Rob. Uh, this is part two of the review of pages for the iPad. Now, in this one, I just wanted to go over a couple things I wasn't able to before um, that some of people don't actually know about some of these uh, quick features and actually the document setup part of pages for the iPad. So we're going to go through um, a little bit about that and how to make borders and different background things that you can go on top of for your different pages. So let's look at, um, some people want to know how they can make a, uh, a border around their page. Now you can see how some of these already made templates, like for instance this one, already has a border, this orange border out here, right? And um, so you could say, well, what if I want to make a brand new document um, that's just like that, right? Well, um, we're going to look at something, how you can do something like that. Okay, so let's create just a blank document, right? And um, then you go over here to this part and you go to Document Setup. And uh, this place actually has a lot of cool features, okay? For one, this is where you can um, edit your footer and your header and have like for classes or anything you need, you can put in information there like page one, page two, uh, your name, stuff like that uh, for college classes, different things like that. Um, another thing that you can do here is you can actually change the uh, the uh, size of your, your margins and different things like that, um, which is really cool as well. Um, and down here you can change it if you need to have a paper size, a uh, US letter, an A4, different things like that. Okay, so, but what we're going to be talking about is the borders in this. Now, um, interestingly enough, if you come out here, one way that I always thought, well, this would probably be a good way to make a border, right, is to make a shape and to bring it up here and to have it like this and kind of make it the size of the page, you know, like, well, you could probably do it like that, right? You know, um, and then edit the the outsides, you know, uh, get rid of the, the inside, and then you have this cool little, you know, box with a shadow or whatever, right? Well, that's cool and all, but when, you, uh, when you're trying to mess around with stuff on your page and and uh, oops, you know, you move that, right? You move this, and they're like, how am I going to move around my page without uh, accidentally moving the box instead, right? That's what your document setup is for, okay? Check this out. While you're in here, you can actually import media and things like that. So you can actually take that shape, bring it in here, and actually do all the stuff that we were talking about in the other place, right? Right in here. And then when you're done, when you push done, it automatically makes that a part of your background instead of making it a shape by itself, okay? So, uh, for instance, let's also say um, I wanted to bring in a border that I found online, right? So I can go in here, I can go to media. Um, whoops, let's bring one in real quick. Let's go over to Safari. I have some cool, uh, just the search for borders on large images so that they're better quality. Uh, let's just open up one of these borders real quick. Um, let's just save this, save image, and then pop back over here to pages. And then uh, we're going to import this. There we have it, right here. And uh, we can make this bigger. And just bring it right down. Okay, done. There we have it. So now you have your document set up, which means if you want to just start typing here, see the problem is it's gonna go over that, right? There's another cool feature is this right here that you can actually do uh, a text box, right? So you can bring this part and just type in the area that you want to be able to type in instead of typing in the whole entire uh, page. So this is just, you know, you can type right in here. Um, and, and this will allow you to move that, you know, around just like that. And um, so that's basically just the feature in, in the document setup area, just showing how to be able to do a background you know, thing that you can actually use for your whole entire background, which means technically you could even pop in here. Let's just let's just try this. Um, you could go back over here to document setup, 
you could get rid of this image and you could pop in, you know, uh, just like some photo right in here. Um, that's just going to look really bad, but let's just say you want to have that as your background, right? So like now, that's not an image there, that's actually part of your background. So you can type right over it. So um, that's a pretty cool feature of pages that not a lot of people are familiar with. Um, is the being able to add your own borders in the document setup area as kind of like a background for your pages. So you can basically set up a page that looks anything like you want. You could design your own page in some other program in like Photoshop or something, import it as just a JPEG into here, and then use it for your own template as a background template. Um, different things like that. So it's a very useful feature that not a lot of people know about that's built right into pages. So that's basically all for this. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, uh, go ahead and ask in the comments or visit our website, thebestiosapps.com and uh, comment and like our page, subscribe to get more videos on app reviews and uh, the, what apps we think are the best and, and we'll tell you why they're the best. So uh, thanks for watching.